Okay, so the first thing we want to look at is how to hold the guitar. All right. So sitting, we want to have the guitar on your right leg, assuming you're right-handed, and we've got our elbow. There's the you know the inside of our elbow. We're holding the guitar on the body right here. Okay. So we've got it stabilized with our right arm. So now our left arm is free, okay? You don't want, you don't want your arm to be up, up here or loose or anything so that the guitar can fall over. If the guitar is falling over, you're doing extra work with your left hand and you can't switch chords effectively. We've got our right arm right, where, right on the inside of our elbow and we're kind of holding it like that, okay? And then our left hand is free to move around. Okay. And then notice that puts your right hand right in line with the sound hole, which is right where you want to strum for the most part. Okay. Look. See, I'm holding the guitar is not moving really. Another way to make sure you're holding the guitar correctly is to use a strap, okay? The best thing about the guitar strap is that you can have both hands free, okay? So now we want it, it's slightly angled up this way toward your left. You, you've got your right arm. You can still put your, uh, the inside of your elbow basically back here to keep the guitar steady. And now again, our left hand is free to move about. Okay, so we've got our right hand it's just about right over the sound hole. Now we've got our strap holding the guitar. This is the height and the position you want your guitar to be in to make it easier on your left hand to switch. Okay, see, I can move my hands. It's almost the same as sitting. So if I sit back down, See, there's a little slack here, so it, it might be a tad lower when I'm standing, the guitar. Okay, so I've got my, I've got my elbow I'm stabilizing the guitar right here. Or I've got my strap. The second thing we want to talk about is your thumb placement, okay? It's very important. You, you, you'll see me and you'll see a lot of people playing with their thumb over the neck on the fretboard. That's just really for people that have been playing a while and we're, what we're doing most of the time is we're muting strings with our thumb. We're, mute, we're muting things, okay? When I play a C, I'm using my thumb to mute this low E string. Because I don't want it. I don't want it ringing all the time. In the beginning, you want to start out, let's say we're doing our G, okay? You want your thumb in the back of the guitar, uh, right in the middle of the neck, okay? So here's my hand. My thumb is right here in the middle of the neck, basically. Right behind my, right on the back, in between my index and middle finger. Switch to D. It's gonna, it might come up a little. C. C. It does tend to come up sometimes. It can be a little easier. But in the beginning, you want, you're going to be focusing on this arch in your fingers to make all the strings ring. But in general, if you have your thumb in a good place, couple of uh, chord pairs and what that is is just like a couple chords that go together and they're easy to switch between easier to switch between so we're going to use G and we're doing G with all four fingers there's many ways to play G but this is I like to use this one it goes to D really easily and we're gonna have a pivot finger okay so 
here's our G. And what we're going to do is we're going to go from this G to D. Okay? And our ring finger, our third finger, is going to stay put. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to practice going back and forth. G. lifting this finger, I haven't even moved this finger. Okay? It's just... And then the next one is E minor to C. Now we've got our middle finger is our pivot finger now. So we're not lifting that finger. E minor C. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. We're going to do G, D, G, D, okay? Now, same thing, E minor, C. Now, this only works if you use these fingerings, okay? So we've got... First finger, second fret, A string. Second finger, third fret, E string. Third finger, third fret, B string. And our fourth finger on the third fret, E string. Okay, here's our G. Okay, D. Okay, and then E minor. First finger on the second fret of the A string and second finger on the second fret of the D string. And then we're going to C. Another thing that will help strengthen your fingers, which will in turn help your chord switching and all of your guitar playing, is this little chromatic exercise. And I'm going to just do it with three fingers for beginners, okay? So what we do is we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to start on the low E string. First fret, second fret, third fret. Then the A string. high E string and then you're going to slide up to 4th fret and we're going to descend. We're going to go 4, 3, 2. Now if you're brand new, take this hand, plant it on the next string, all three fingers, all three frets. So we've just gone, you're going to plant it and then lift them as you go. Plant. Third fret, three, four, five, three, four, five, next string. Okay, slide up to six, plant, lift them as you go, plant, plant, okay, and so on. Now if that starts to get easy, just add your pinky. chord switching is sort of like an, an open string strum. Okay? I'm going to stick with our four chords. G, D, E minor, C. And what I mean by the open string strum is I mean when, when we switch from one chord to the next, we're basically going to, we're going to hit some open strings. We might have a finger down, so if I go... So I'm going 
G. I'm gonna leave that there, that's my pivot finger. But I'm basically hitting open and then D. Then open everything, because I'm switching to E minor. Faster, that sounds like. So you're not really hearing this, you're not really noticing the switch so much. And even faster, you know. I'm kind of emphasizing it too much. Start working on those five ideas and in no time you're going to be switching chords a lot faster.